Hello everybody, uh, I'm Justin Schieffer and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do something that I've been trying to find out for a while. Um, couldn't really find anything online, but uh, what I'm going to show you guys today is how to do a custom ragdoll for a quadrupedal creature. Um, uh, first off, I want to thank my buddy Styles for creating this beautiful monster, um, and uh, one of our Austin, one of our uh, interns, Austin Graw, is actually animating it right now. Um, so I'll kind of just show you guys what he looks like, and then we'll get to the process of doing our custom ragdoll. So there's the animation. Um, and nothing really happens when I uh, go in and try to interact with him. Um, he doesn't have any code on him or anything like that. He's just a basic mesh with an animation on it. So uh, let's get started. First thing we want to do is we're going to want to find the joints. Um, and the way we're going to do this is we're not going to use Unity's built-in uh, ragdoll creator. Uh, we're going to do a custom ragdoll from scratch. And it kind of takes a while, but if you do, do it well, you're going to get amazing results. So let me show you guys how to do it. So first off, we're going to need to find where the root joint is. It looks on this character, it's going to be joint one. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a box collider and we're going to try to just make it to scale. Zero one, point zero one. And then we'll just kind of adjust this collider a little bit uh, so it works a little bit better for us. All right, and then we want to add a, what is it called? A character joint. And what this does is right here where it says character joint and connected body part, that's where we're gonna connect other body parts to it. So think of like a old paper doll with the pins where the joints are. It's pretty much doing that, but in 3D with your model. So, uh, also, it creates a rigid body, and after we're done creating the ragdoll, we can actually come in here and adjust the mass and the drag. So, this is a pretty big character. I don't want him flopping around like he only weighs 10 pounds, when it looks like he could weigh well, like 500 pounds compared to the character. So, now um, we're going to find out where his leg joints are. So, it looks like joint 13... 14. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a capsule collider. And I don't know why my scale is all weird. That's fine. But we'll bring the radius down to maybe 0 0.01. No. 0 0.005. 0 0.02. Let's try 0 0.03. And the orientation is off. So we'll change this to the x-axis, and you'll see that now it lines up with that leg right there. Now all we have to do is change the height. So let's bring this to 0 0.01, maybe 0 0.02, 0 0.015. So that looks good. And then we're going to have to change the x value to kind of line it up a little bit. All right, we're going to have to go in the negative direction. Zero, eight, seven. Yeah, so there's just kind of a lot of setup work to this. But the cool thing is, is once you find out what the other joint is, you can kind of just copy and paste these values. So joint five looks the same. So we'll put another capsule collider in there. So we'll remember these. Copy component, paste component values, and then we'll just change the x value, take away the negative, and it'll line up just fine. Now, we will do this joint right here. So, what is it, joint 51? 
Let's put a capsule collider and let's just paste component values and see what it does. That looks pretty good. What was that negative? So probably do a positive value. And we will shrink the radius on it. Maybe 0.2. That looks pretty darn good. And then we'll copy component. We'll go to joint 14. Add a capsule collider. And paste component values. And we'll change the x to a negative. Finally, we will do these joints right here. Capsule collider, paste component values, and we can do these at the same time. We'll change the radius to one, one five, that looks good. And it looks like the height is kind of high. One, two. So I think that looks pretty good. And we'll change the X, make it negative. And if we want, we can even go in and mess around with these toes. I think I will just for this demonstration. Yeah, let's do it. All right, same thing, capsule collider. A skin component values. Now for the height on these, we're gonna make them really short. So 0 0.5, radius, let's make this 0 0.001. We can probably go a little longer by five. And we'll change this to negative, see what that does. Looks like it works pretty well on this foot. So let's just kind of bring these in a little bit until we get what we like. That looks pretty darn good. <laughs> all right. Now what we want to do is on all these joints that we messed with, that, this, 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 looks like 14, 15, 13, 50. We can add a character joint to all of these. Now, this part isn't really tricky. You just need to kind of pay attention to what you're doing. So I believe that joint one is our master root joint. So we, what we wanna do is for joint thir 13 and 50, we're gonna want to drag the joint one into the connected body. So now these are connected. Now joint 50, we're gonna, or sorry, 51, we're gonna wanna put joint 50 in there. Now for all these, we'll point, put 51. And then for the little feet, we're going to put joint 52 because it connects to this bone right here. And we'll do the same for over here. Add the character joint, 15. Put the one above it. And above it. And yeah. So with that done, let's go here and let's turn off the animator on the parent and let's see what happens. <laughs> so as you can see, his leg legs are actually now ragdolls and so are his feet. Each one of those toes is moving individually. Now, the reason why his butt is stuck in place right there, uh, like that's good, you want that for now. Uh, just, it's gonna stay there because it's not connected to anything even though everything is connected to it. 
So let's see what happens when we put another kind of root joint up here for these arms. All right, so looks like joint three might work. Yeah, let's do joint three. Box collider. Bring the scale down to 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and 0 0.01. that size but let's come in here and we will add our what's it called character joint and now we'll connect joint one to this and for joint one we'll connect joint three and let's see what happens it's probably not going to stick like it was before Yeah, now he's dead on the ground and we can just kind of move him around. <laughs> All right. So, four, that's for the head. For the head, let's put a joint in. Mm, yeah, let's do it with joint five. Let's do joint six and seven. Ooh, we can actually make his mouth open and close. Let's give that a shot. Character joint and collider. Let's do a box collider just because it's more square and then round. don't know how this will work. Hopefully it's the right joint. Maybe it's not. Here, let's try this again. It looks like we have the wrong joint. Box collider. 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01. That looks a little bit better. So let's scale this down. And we'll add a, char a character joint now. Oops. And we will do joint five for the head. Wider radius zero one seems to be the magic number for everything. Let's change the access. Oh, weird. Let's make it go on the z-axis for this one. Character joint. Joint seven. Uh oh. What was the joint six? Okay. Joint six and joint five. Ooh, that looks like it's going in pretty far. Let's scale that over here. And now that I think of it, we may want to parent it to the joint that's over here. So I think that's joint 
three. Now, let's just add another joint for joint four. We'll do a uh, character joint. And let's do a collider. So now what we'll do is in joint five, we'll connect it to joint four. Joint six, we'll connect that to joint four. And then with joint four, we're gonna connect it to joint two. Sorry, joint three. And let's give it a shot. Hopefully we can get his mouth to open up. There we go. Check it out, his mouth is opening up. <laughs> cool. So his mouth is opened up now. Looks like he has a broken jaw. Now let's do the arms and we'll finish up. Joint 63. So we'll do a capsule collider. Point zero 0.01. Still looks pretty thick. Let's try the x axis. Hmm. Let's remove those. Let's copy the component. Oh, doesn't want to let us. I think it's because we have both selected. Copy component. Remove component. And let's go down to a child object. This one might be better. Paste component values. And let's try for the x-axis. See, now it's on the x-axis. So that'll be better to use. Big beefy arms. And then let's make the height a little bit longer. Three, four, yeah, let's do four, I like that. Cool. Let's copy component. Let's go down another level. And let's paste, paste component values. Let's change the radius. We get a skinnier. Looks like 0.2 works. Zero one, two. Three, four, five. Five works. Make this one a negative. And now that I look at it, we can probably make the radius even smaller. That looks good. Oops. Let's do the same thing for these. And I know it's kind of repetitive, guys, but I want to show you guys the whole process rather than editing all this stuff out. Negative. All right. 
right, and then looks like we'll do the same thing we did time with these toes. We will do capsule collider, base component values. If the radius really small, I think that looks nice. Change the height. change the x value. Uh-oh. Nah, we'll stick with this. These guys over here make this negative. So for all these joints, we're going to do the fun thing where we add the character joint. And I believe that they're connected to joint 11 and 66. So these guys, put joint 66, is that right, 67? <laughs> oh, it's because I haven't added the joint yet. One, two, three. Add the character joint. So now we'll go back to these. Add joint 66. For joint 66, we'll add 65. And we'll add 64. And then for 64, we need to connect it back to this big boy over here. So I believe it's, it was three, right? Yes. Right. We'll do the same thing over here. 11 to 10 to 9 and then to 3. All right. So he should be all set up now. Let's take a look. Yep. He's all set up. Can move them all over the place. <laughs> He's looking like a ball of jelly. Okay, now this next thing, I haven't really experimented too much on this, so this is gonna be on you guys to go check it out. But I know that you can change these limits to how much it will twist. So you saw how like limbs were flipping backwards, stuff like that. Uh, you can go into all these uh, these options over here and change them to your liking, change the limit so they won't swing so much. Uh, something that I found that works pretty well is like for these big joints right here, it's like it shouldn't have a mass of one. Maybe let's change it to, to 10 with a little bit of a drag. Joint three, Let's change this big piece to maybe 20 and 10 drag and then joint one we'll do 15 7 drag let's press play and see what happens so you can immediately see that there's a lot more weight to the body I can't just move them around as much as I could before. And that's what putting the extra stuff on the rigid body did with extra mass and, and drag. All right, guys. Well, I hope this helped you because it took me forever to figure this out, but hopefully this video will help you. Um, and also, uh, if you guys are curious about what this is, uh, this is my game that I'm working on called The Town. It's, uh, it's being made by Trollhouse Games, which is my, my company. 
Um, so if you're interested in seeing more, go to trellisgames.com. You can see our trailer for our new game um, and find out a little bit more about us. Follow us on Instagram. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching.